Hi everybody, welcome back to another cottage renovation video. Now I'm going to continue where I left off in the last video. Um, I made a pad stone in the corner. Um, I'm going to work on the hole in the wall. We're going to do some render removal and who knows what else I'm going to come across whilst doing that. So it may deviate slightly, but uh, that's the general plan for today. So I'll show you what I've done. Um, I've got to do some shuttering today as well and yeah lots of different things I would imagine so let me just show you what I've done in the last video so I addressed the issue of the main front wall the foundation had been slightly eroded well quite a bit eroded by the leaky roof which is next door in the barn so what I've done I dug it out got down to some hard sort of stones put these pad stones on now this is the foundation for a timber it's going all the way up there and it's going to pick up that beam there which in turn supports the floor joist. So that's going off just nicely. So while that's setting, we're going to hopefully get to the point where we're going to block this up today. I just want to go back into the barn and show you the other side of this wall. And yes, it finally has stopped raining. Blue sky. Okay. In we go. Right. Okay. Hopefully the lighting's good enough. So this is the other side of the hole in the wall. Now, over time, it's eroded quite a bit, the water coming down here. So my plan for this it's not going to be as extreme as me building this, although that was very necessary. This particular situation, I'm going to create a bit of a, um, a sort of foundation base here, and then I'm going to shutter all these jagged stones up and pour some lime creek in there so it will hold all those stones nicely in. And then that way I can carry on building up. So I've got to pop out and get some uh, some ballast or gravel to mix up with the lime creek. And uh, you know where the builder's merchants is, you was there with me the other day, so I'll see you when I get back here. Got me aggregate for the lime creek. Now, whilst driving to get that, I was thinking, hmm, maybe I'll do something different here. So I didn't get any more of these blocks. I was going to sort of shutter it up here. I think what I'll do instead, I've got some nice big hefty rocks dotted about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it out with the rocks tight into the existing wall and then fill it, fill the void up with lime creek. That way it can breathe if there's any moisture in there. Yeah, if I use the concrete blocks, they're not going to breathe so well. There's quite a bit of moisture in this area, so complete change of plan. I've changed my mind, so I'll get a mix going and we'll start building this up in some traditional stone. So I'm just going to reverse back to the sand, uh, set my mixer up, got my stone, I've also got a new lens. <laughs> broke, the, broke the last one. And I've also got these fixings. Now in the previous video I was on about these, had a little bit of a moan about them. Went to a, a, another Brico and uh, I got these for $3.99. It was $8.50 or something. So quite a big saving, just shop around. So that's like 20 euros. Okay, so I'm all ready to mix now. Uh, I'm just going to get the stones out here, give them a good jet off. Make sure there's no dirt and stuff on there so they stick properly. Have a little clean up in there and then uh, We'll get laid. Oh yeah, 
clotted cream. Right, glasses, gloves, camera action. So here's the plan. I need to strengthen up this area here. Um, it's quite jagged so it'll make an ideal surface to shutter, you know, pouring from the top. So we'll get some big stones here. I'll build up a column up to about here. And I'll get some fixings into this wall, a few into there, and that'll create a hollow. And then I'll pour in the limecrete from above, and that will be absolutely solid then. We've got a good base here. So yeah, really strengthen up this area. And then uh, I can, you know, go around the other side and work on that hole in the wall. So yeah, a slight little distraction, but nevertheless, it's well worth doing, and it needs doing, so. I've got my stones, I've got my mortar mixed up. So it's really important I use lime in this area because there's a lot of moisture in the wall. And I just need it to, to breathe properly. Evaporate through the front of the wall and the inside if need be. Quite therapeutic this. <laughs> right, okay, so we're gonna go with that one first. Not too worried about levels, as long as it's wider at the base and then tapers in at the top, it'll be a lot stronger then. Just got to make sure I bridge that uh, gap. Stagger the bond. Oh, perfect. Okay, yep, that picks up perfectly with that course. Fixing in there. I've just got to find a stone, that one there, I think. May need to try another stone. Not a problem. Give me a minute. Let's try over here. Looks about right. Now these are the stones that come out of this area anyway, so it's quite fitting that they're going back. Right, I'll just give this a quick clean up and now we'll offer it in. So, we've got our stone all washed up. That could be used on another course. Hopefully, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Okay, yeah, it ties in nicely there. Before I go too far, I think I'll get a fixing in there. I think it'd be okay that side. Right, let's uh, look here, see what I've got. Oh yeah, they're ideal. This is why I never throw anything away these years, hug these out of the ground. The bottom of the open barn that I'm in at the moment. Okay, right, take me pick. That one I do. Let's just take a handful. Okay, where's my club hammer? There it is. No, that's not the club hammer. That should do it, right. Okay, I might use that one on that course. Yep, that'll bed nicely into there. That's it, see? Ain't rocket science. It kind of tells you where it can and can't go. You know, you look at it and you think, where do I start? But 
as long as you stagger those joints which means if there's a vertical joint you put the next course on top straddling that vertical joint so it just spreads the, the weight well, also something like this I'll probably get maybe another course on and then uh, I'll call it a day on this part of the, the build and I'll go next door and do something else but um, yeah, you don't want to put too much in one go because you might start getting a little bit of movement and that just let this go off and come back to it another day and just before this goes off trail it in make sure you're getting plenty of support on the stones and then just before it sort of goes off get a paintbrush and just work it in same as I've done that side um, that does several things it gets all the all the tiny gaps filled and well pushed in there and it also helps um, when it comes to water evaporation out of these walls they breathe as I've mentioned before and the greater the surface area of this lime the more sort of uh, moisture it releases because the surface is much greater you know it's been used for hundreds of years so don't just take my word for it so we kind of build it up in levelish courses this makes it a bit easier to work your stones I'd say there's a big void there which is ideal because then I can pack that full of lime creep Go. We'll let this set a little bit, we'll come and trail it up and then uh, let it go off, give me time to sort out some stones and then we've sort of got to come up to here so not many to find. Okay right see you next door. I've got some more lime mixed up in the mixer, I'm just going to get that out. We're going to go in the cottage and I'm going to go over on the second coat of that scratch coat of the lime render. You know where we're working, where the hole in the wall is, we will eventually fill that hole up. Right, let's get me trowel and get this plastered over. Okay, so a quick damp down with the brush and we'll get a second coat on. So once again, nothing fancy, it just needs to be functional. That's held in there rather nice. Strengthened that wall up immensely. Okay, I've got a little bit more in the mixer do some uh, filling out at the bottom and now both sides I've got a good base to start from this point here upwards it's only as good as what it's on down below so we all get in there so the void has now been filled up with lime creep I'm just agitating it so it gets into all the holes and interlocks into all this jagged stonework so it really will make it solid. Now just before this goes off, I'll find some metal reinforcing and get it in there. And uh, just lock it all together. So this is going to be one very, very strong section of wall. So there you go, we've got just over a third of it down. Like I say, the void at the back is already filled. Going to get some reinforcing in there. Just brushed in all the joints. Made sure they're nice and tight. So now we've got a nice secure base for when we go up. Probably do it in two sections, maybe one. But um, yeah, definitely got a good base there. That's that done for now. Right, on to the next job. But before that, I'm going to have a quick trip to the dressing room. And I'll see you when I get back. So yeah, just had to have a quick change. Don't like being hot and sticky and sweaty. Right, got my trailers on, we're going to do some plaster removal, uh, I've got to unload the trailer with the gravel. Um, I'll maybe do something in front of the, the cottage here. At the moment, in and out, up and down these stairs, it's becoming quite slippery here, so I think I'll dig that little bit out here. The gravel I've got on the trailer for the concrete, I'll just put down here for now. I'll save some that I need in buckets 
just to allow me safe access up and down. Now I did quite a few videos ago, membrane all underneath here, um, put all new stone down, and look, it's all grown through the membrane. Yeah. I think what I'll do in front of all these buildings here is I'm gonna put some hard landscaping down right the way across here maybe like a little table and chairs there some plants bits and pieces like that but i think unless i actually put hard like landscaping down like slabs or something like that i'm going to consistently have this problem now we do plan to gravel the rest of the drive the car's up and down there it, there's not much groves there really to be honest with you so we're going to grab all that but i think across here we can do some hard landscaping and have a bit of a play with that. But I can't do that until I've sorted the roof because we probably need the scaffolding along there. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent now. So I think I'll sort this area out here, get my trailer emptied, put all the gravel here. blew the cobwebs out yeah excess you know to your project where you're working is vitally important obviously you don't want to slip over you're in and out more times than you realize when you're doing this sort of stuff so create a safe excess so this only cost me about 20 euros so well worth it the whole drive will eventually be covered in this uh, in this uh, gravel anyway so so now I've got safe excess up and down the stairs Right, I think I've earned that cup of tea. See you in five. Oh, that's better, nice cup of tea. Thanks, Sam. Right, while I was in there, Sam said whilst I was filming, she's been out in the garden, she's been harvesting. Partly for tomorrow's dinner, but also, oh, right, let's take a look. Surprise in the garden for me. Okay, into the jungle. Now this is meant to be a, a food forest, not a food jungle, but Anyway, I'll get on top of this at a later date. Oh, okay, here we go. Said it's on a tray. Oh, what we got here? She's been a busy girl harvesting. Oh, wow, look at that. So she's dug some potatoes and carrots, tomatoes, giant, well, it's not cold yet, melon. Ah, now these are the plums that come off that tree there. Now she's gonna give them to her mum, and her mum makes lovely plum jam, so I look forward to having a few jars of that. Right, we've got here cow. Right, let's get this indoors before the critters start munching it. Lovely. So gravel down. Like I say, it makes a nice safe access in and out of there, and it stops me treading clay from out of there indoors and getting told off. So I listen to what she says. Right, let's head inside and I think I'll start removing some plaster from the, the face wall on the front. So yeah, who knows what's behind that. Let's go and have a look. At least it's dry. Okay, this is the area that I'm gonna concentrate on next. It's always interesting to see what's going on underneath the main supporting beam. Just go and get me light right, that's better. So yeah, we'll get that off. Doesn't look very nice, does it? So that's gonna come off. And let's see what's behind it. Now I know I'm always on about safety and uh, you've called me out a few times and said, where's your earplugs? Where's your earmuffs? Well, this time I've actually got them. I found them. I had them somewhere. So anyway, goggles and masks. And now I've got the earplugs. It's always important. Okay, get set up and uh, we'll have this off in no time. Okay, yeah, it's a bit interesting. I'll have to look into that. Right, okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next video. See how I get on with this. Bye for now.